Hey guys, it's Robert at Alamo Precision. I wanted to take a couple minutes today and talk about Hornady's new 6.5 PRC. I say it's new, uh, it's been around for probably a little over a year now, but we're starting to see a spike in popularity and, uh, and doing a ton of builds in this cartridge. It's a great round. There are some things though that folks need to be aware of before they go down the path of, uh, of planning a build on one. Uh, one of the big challenges here is this thing is marketed as a short action cartridge, which it truly is but barely. So I'm going to mic one of these Hornady factory rounds right now and we come up with a length of 2.945. Uh, that seems to be fairly consistent in here uh, which is great but the problem you run into is trying to fit them into a standard short action. Uh, there are several actions out there that do fit really well uh, it really depends on which maker you go with, but most of the Remington clones are not going to fit as well without some modifications. Uh, and by Remington clones, I'm talking Defiance, Stiller, uh, Lone Peak, you know, pretty much most, the majority of what we use as builders. You know, while they may not be an exact Remington copy, they do share things like the footprint and the magwell design. So, you do have to take this into consideration. If we look at a standard Remington mag box, you've got an internal case capacity of about 2.8 inches. Well, you can kind of see the problem now when you've got a 2.9450 cartridge. It simply doesn't fit. Uh, so that does lend itself to a problem. Uh, the solution there is uh, why it's mag box. Uh, you've got just enough clearance to kind of run through and you can see this does clear, which is great. So this will get you up and running uh, in a short action. Same thing with, with DBM. This is an accurate mag, uh, pretty much an AICS copy. Barely fits as well. You're looking at about 2.960, you know, and it varies a little bit on these magazines, so you can't take one number for gospel. But it does fit, again, just barely. So, uh, the fact is, yes, it can be made to work in a short action, or most short actions, with some sort of compromise. Okay guys, so here is a little illustration I put together to kind of show what I'm talking about here. Uh, this is a standard Remington mag box at 2.80 inches. Uh, I've traced out it, I've traced it out so you can actually see uh, what the footprint looks like next to a 6.5 PRC cartridge. Uh, you can see that the 6.5 PRC will not fit in the standard Remington box, but the Wyatt's at 2.955, and, and these are going to vary a little bit. You're probably safer calling this thing 2.950. Uh, it will fit barely. Uh, you know, with the cartridge overall length on the Hornady factory stuff of 2.945, it doesn't leave you a whole lot of room in here for clearance, but it does in fact work. The thing that I think guys need to be aware of is the fact that if you're starting out at a point where it barely fits, it doesn't leave you much room, uh, as a hand loader anyway, it doesn't leave you much room to kind of go out and chase the lands as the rifle ages and you get more round count on the tube. So that is something to be aware of. Uh, this thing really, really, really fits best in a true intermediate length action. There's not a lot of them out there now, but there are some choices out there. And we are not opposed, you know, the 65284 guys have found out a long time ago, hey, this round really, really, really works, you know, well on a long action so we are not opposed to building these on a long action you know uh, I always call these cartridges like this one in the 6524 to me they're in betweeners you know they're a little fatter than a normal short action cartridge so they don't really fit that mold very well uh, as a typical short action the the overall length of the case you know it's not as long as a long action but it's it's longer than a short action so they're kind of in betweeners uh, and, and can be a little challenging, or at least you need to put a little more thought into it when you're, when you're planning a build out to accommodate these rounds. Uh, it is a phenomenal round and I hope to see continued success. Uh, I feel like uh, this really is kind of a step up in the right direction as far as uh, offering us a 6.5 short mag-ish kind of a round that, uh, that folks can buy off the factory ammo for. You know, that's a great thing. Uh, from what we've seen so far, we've probably built, you know, probably pushing 100 of these things so far and they just the factory ammo has been phenomenal uh, so you know it's it, it is a great option just go into it knowing that hey you may have to make uh, a few exceptions in your build process to make it work to its optimal potential uh, thanks we'll be seeing you again soon